Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Now today's topic will be on diffusion, osmosis, and tonsidy. All right, so let's go right in. Now diffusion, let's define that. Now diffusion is the process by which particles move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration until the particles are evenly distributed. So let us demonstrate this. Now this diagram which you see a perfume bottle and if you notice the particles right there, there are a lot of particles which mean higher concentration of particles and over to the left, over to the right side of this diagram there is a lesser particle. So from the left there is a lot of particles and over to the right there are less particles. In fact there are none at this moment. So the particles will be spreading from the left to the right. Also something I want you to note how particles move particles are always moving randomly and constantly so this random constant motion of particles will allow the particles to move and try to fill all the space available to them so this now is the resulting effect when all the particles are moving they move until they're evenly distributed and so for this reason if you spray a cologne bottle in one side of the room eventually you will smell the cologne all over the room very good now osmosis now this is a movement of water molecules from an from an area of high concentration which we describe as higher water potential to an area of low concentration which we describe as lower water potential and it must go across a semi-permeable membrane. Now, osmosis can also be defined as the diffusion of water across a semi-permeable membrane. Now, just to make a note right here, what higher water potential means and what lower water potential means, I want to think of it this way. When you think about higher water potential, think about the water will has a greater chance or greater potential of moving from that area so if it is a low water potential it means that water will be unable to move from that area less potential of moving so let's think about it in that way let us demonstrate this now for this diagram you will notice on the left you will notice these darker particles which represent water in this case and the red molecules will represent the sugar molecules so this is a solution on both sides now in the middle where you see the broken green line it is representing the semi-permeable membrane semi-permeable means that it will only allow certain size particles to pass through now if you notice now the water molecules will be able to fit through these spaces but the sugar molecules will not all right because they will be too large now for now what going to happen here now since the water molecules outnumber the sugar molecules water these molecules will have more chance or greater potential so remember now on this side since you have a lot more water you have a higher water potential on the left compared to the right where you will have a less potential of water to move because you have more sugar molecules compared to water all right so when to look up what these words also mean a little bit later so just keep in mind higher water potential low water potential so as a result water will move from the left to the right so water will move through this way in that direction until both sides are pretty much the same all right so let's first now think about what is solution because now to understand this even better you must understand the concept of solution now what is a solution 
it simply is a mixture between a solute and it could be sugar or it could be salt and a solvent which is generally water what is considered as a universal solvent because it can dissolve most things all right and so if you look at here now this um, clear portion here which represents the water and inside of it you'll see the sugar when the sugar dissolve you'll not be able to see them differently compared to the water because both will be physically mixed together all right now concentration is another term for us to understand when you're talking about osmosis and diffusion all right or the diffusion of water molecules so it's very important now to understand this now is that concentration is a measure of the quantity of solute per unit volume of that solution so let's take for example these two beakers which contain the same volume of solution which means the same volume of mixture in the in both in both beakers you have 50 ml all right they are 50 ml so on the on the left i want you also to notice that we have each red molecule representing one gram okay we're taking them to be one gram so if each is one gram then the concentration on this side in this beaker a it will be 50 ml which is the volume and three grams in total so you divide three by 50 you will get 0 0.06 grams per ml okay so that will be the concentration on this side and on this side you will have six of these particles so if each particle is one gram then you divide six by 50 which gave us 0 0.12 grams per ml it simply means now if you have more salute if you notice it you will have a higher concentration of that solution so if you notice 0 0.12 is much higher than 0 0.06 so this is a greater concentrated solution so we can call the solution on the left we can say it is dilute compared to the one on the right which is more concentrated with solute okay so now we understand what is concentration and now we understand how concentration can increase if you add more solute to the mixture now please note this is that as the concentration of a solution increases the water potential decreases and why simply because you'll have less water molecules available to move by osmosis so the more solute the more solute you put in a solution the lesser the chance of water to move and i wanted to remember that and that's why it's lower the water potential all right great job now i want to bear it me with this one and i want, want to look at high and low water potential we're putting it together now and so remember now if you have less solute you have a higher water potential so less salute means more water available so therefore you have higher water potential if you have more salute which means less water now it means you have a lower water potential so let's look on these two beakers the first one which will be on your left you will realize that you have the blue particles which represent water outnumber the red molecules which represent sugar so if you notice these are, are joined together these are joined together these are joined together so these water molecules are not able to move so you want to think about that so now only these two will be available to move so let's compare it to the one on the right now if you notice here the red outnumber the blue which means the sugar molecules or the solute outnumber the water so there's no water available to move in this case so on the le on the left you have water to move so on the left you have a higher water potential comparing to this one on the right there is a less potential or possibility of water to move 
hence you have a lower water potential okay i hope you now you understand that i'm going to use this now and apply it to osmosis situation all right now and this is something that i say is a must must no thing when you're explaining osmosis as it relates to cells all right and so it's very important for us to understand a term called ton city now ton city is the measure of the extent to which a solution outside of the cell could cause water to enter or leave the cell so in other words we're going to compare two things so ton city is a comparative measure of two things mainly it measure one the concentration across the semi permeable membrane so you're comparing the concentration inside the cell and what is outside of the cell that's what tonsidy is looking at they're comparing so it's a comparative uh, measure and so it also comparing the the water potential across the semi permeable membrane so look at if inside the cell has a higher water potential compared to the outside so it is comparing inside the cell and outside of the cell. So remember now, once you talk about tonsidy, you're talking about what is in the cell compared to what is outside of the cell. All right? So that's what it is comparing in terms of concentration or water potential. All right? So let's now look at the types of tonsidy. Now, tonsidy can be described in three ways. One a hypertonic notice the er hypertonic and i want to think about the hyper if you're hyperactive then you are able to you, you move around more with much more energy but once you talk about osmosis or tonsidy we're talking about the movement of water so hypertonic so outside of a cell is more concentrated the solution is concentrated compared to the inside of the cell so if on the outside is concentrated it means inside must be more dilute awesome and so if outside is concentrated therefore water will move out of the cell because inside will have more water available which means it is dilute inside and now for hypotonic hypo notice the po potonic okay outside of a cell is less concentrated so it is pretty much the opposite of hypertonic and so if outside is less concentrated which means on the outside of a cell is a dilute solution which means now a lot of water will be there and if a lot of water will be on the outside of a cell it therefore means water can move into the cell all right and now for isotonic notice isotonic for isotonic now it means that on the outside and on the inside of the cell they have equal level of concentration of solution and for this reason since both the inside and on the outside are the same there will be no net movement of water across the membrane water moving in will be water moving will equal to the water moving out and hence there's no net movement or overall movement of water okay so remember the terms hypertonic water will move out of the cell hypotonic water will move inside of the cell and isotonic the same amount of water going in will equal the water going out and hence no net movement of water molecules so let's look at this by demonstration now for hypertonic and you want to remember now folks for hypertonic remember on the outside it is a higher concentrated solution which means you have a lot of solute so i wanted to notice the, the water molecules on the outside they are outnumbered by the sugar molecules okay so you have more sugar molecules so hence this water is attached to this sugar it cannot move this is attached to this sugar molecules it cannot move and so you only have available sugar however on the inside you have the water molecules outnumbering the sugar molecules so if water molecules outnumber the sugar molecules what is able to move freely 
yes it will be the water from the inside because they are available and in osmosis only water molecules can move it also therefore means that inside the cell will have a higher water potential remember the word higher potential or possibility of water moving so these could move to the outside all right simple because the outside is more concentrated beautiful all right so let's move to the other term which is hypotonic and in hypotonic it is reverse of hypertonic now again on the outside of a cell because this line represents the cell which is the purple line and the broken line represents the cell membrane of a cell so if you notice here now the outside will be less concentrated which means it is dilute it is a dilute solution on the outside and so if you notice now the water molecules outnumber the sugar molecules which simply means now you have more water available on the outside so you can use the term here that on the outside of a cell it has a higher water potential looking on the inside the sugar molecules outnumber the water molecules hence water will move from where water is available or at a higher concentrated level to the inside where it is less available okay so higher water potential on the outside to where there is a lower water potential on the inside so water moves into the cell let's look at the last one and then this one is isotonic and isotonic on the outside and on the inside of a the cell they are equal in terms of concentrated concentration or available water so if you notice on the outside these water molecules aren't able to move because they are bound to the sugar and the same thing with this one so you only have one water molecule available to move on the inside is the exact same thing only one water molecule is available to move hence the water going out is equal to water going in so overall there is no net movement of water molecules so now folks now you understand all three hypertonic water move out of the cell hypotonic water moves into the cell and isotonic there is no overall movement of water okay so now we're at the end of a lesson and in the next lesson or coming lesson we'll be looking at the effects of tonsidy on cells so folks i want you to keep watching keep learning by simply subscribing see you in the next lesson